Hello! In this video I will set up Canon MF750C, the laser color multifunctional device. I use the European iSenses MF754CDW, but in different regions these models may be called different sub-brands and may be sold under different names. First, I remove all the orange tapes from the printer after unboxing. I will show the following in this video and the full product review on this model you can find in part 1 in the upper right corner of the screen. Scanning the QR code on the paper manuals will take you to the online web manuals where you can find all the information about the MF750C and also other laser products. In this video I will do the product setup from the first power on on the new device. Follow the steps in the video to correctly set up the multifunctional printer. You can select from many languages and for the video I set to English. and for the country region I select others. It is recommended that you create the remote user interface pin which you need later on to get into the device settings via the web interface and I show this part later in the video. The MF750C paper cassette can take as small as A6 size directly from the paper cassette. For the print quality do not skip the color adjustment. It will take about 2 minutes to complete. I speed up this part and it will take about a minute to finish. And the last message on the setup is about the application library. Some more information about application library I will show you later in the video. Here you can scan the QR code to get to the application library manuals. The application library allows you to put the workflows on the screen for one-touch operations and enhance the productivity of your work with the device for the most frequent operations. And that is all about the setup. 
Few seconds later, the setup is finished. And my device is ready for use. In the second part, I give you some information about the remote management of the device. In this video, I connect the MF device with the Ethernet network cable. The IP address is displayed in the status monitor. I enter the IP address into the web browser and log in as administrator with the pin I have set up during the setup process. Here you find all the settings of your printer, about some useful settings you find video in the upper right corner of the screen, and I go into the application library settings, where you find now up to 18 different applications. Let me quickly show you how to customize the user interface, which by default looks like this, and then you can rename the tabs, The MF750C is the first generation to support drag and drop user interface customization. And one of the latest application library apps is Cloud. The icons can also be moved up and down. And finally, after customization, my home screen looks like this. And that would be all in this video. In my next video on MF750C series, I will test the productivity of the new print and scan engine. Find it in the upper right corner of the screen notification. Find more about printers in the playlist on my channel, feel free to comment, ask questions and don't forget to subscribe as it helps me to grow my channel and create more videos like this. Thank you for watching and sharing and please like the video. Bye!